620, like the new music? Yeah. Two uh, very <laughs> different problems in different hemispheres driving up the cost of maritime shipping. Howard's here to explain. Good morning. We've told you about the situation in the Middle East where Houthi rebels are attacking ships in the Red Sea using everything from rifles to cruise missiles to armed drones. Shipping lines taking two-week detours around Africa are driving fuel costs skyward and delaying delivery of almost any cargo you can imagine. And we got confirmation overnight that an oil tanker seized in the Persian Gulf is now being held by Iran. But a very different problem is messing up shipping on the other side of the world. Drought has dramatically lowered water levels in the Panama Canal. Larger ships can no longer make it through. Some 40% of all U.S. container traffic travels through the Pan Panama Canal. But the shipping giant Maersk has decided to use a land bridge instead. Matson has seen its shares rise this week because that unique creature, a shipping line that doesn't use either the Panama Canal or the Suez Canal. But Matson will be affected, and the reason is the crisis this morning has sent oil up $3 a barrel. 621. Now over to Guy for your first alert weather. Thanks a lot, Howard. We're looking forward to a very. Uh